I've been needing like a little reset type of thing going on. I feel like my room, it just feels like, um, I feel like my room, especially my closet, is such a big mess and it just needs to be cleaned. I need to deep clean my table, deep clean my nightstand, take out my bed sheets, clean that, do laundry. All of the stuff that you need to start the week right. So I'm going to be taking you guys along through my winter reset routine. I know I film a lot of these, but I feel like these are so important, especially if you're like struggling with life right now or, you know, your room's a mess and you don't know why your life is just going downhill. I feel like the main reason is your space. Like if you're not in a comfortable space and your room is not clean, you don't make your bed your tables are not deep cleaned and there's like a bunch of dust on it and stuff i feel like a lot of people especially me seem to like just completely fall apart i don't know like my room just plays a big role in my life for some reason since i spend so much time in my room it needs to be clean Thank you Curology for sponsoring today's video Curology is a online skincare company that provides custom formulas as made for you Curology when I was literally in eighth grade and now I'm graduating high school and I have seen such a big difference from using it for such a long period of time. My skin used to be really oily around my nose and it had a lot of texture up on my forehead and I never really knew what it was. So I went looking for a skincare brand that would treat me with my skin and what I was struggling with and I found Curology. Something I love about Curology is that they give you a custom formula as made for you and it's super easy. All you have to do is answer a quick little question quiz on what you would like to be treated on on your skin and like questions on your your skin type and you also have to send three pictures of your current skin right now and all that information will send straight to a dermatologist provider which then will ship you your custom formula as made for you there's also so many other skincare treatments that you could add into your box which could be like the cleanser and moisturizer set which i love because it makes my skin feel so refreshed and i love using it in the morning or nighttime the sunscreen which is also super important the acne body wash and the emergency spot patches which are my favorite because they are literally so thin and so clear that you can't even notice the little pimple patch which i usually add them on my spots that i have appearing on my skin I literally have like a little spot between my eyebrows like this like a little pimple spot and it was so unexpected I didn't even know it was gonna come so I'm gonna use that and yeah it's just so helpful literally no other skincare brand has treated me the way this one has I feel so much more confident and not only that I think it's so important that you feel comfortable in your skin not only with your appearance click the link in the description to get your first month free all you have to do is pay five dollars for shipping and handling and that's it thank you so much Curology for sponsoring today's video <laughs> I'm gonna clean my desk now. I've cleaned like that part of my room, which is like the dresser, the nightstand, and the shelf. And it looks so good. It didn't look like a mess before, but like right now, it just looks so more put together. I don't know what it is, but it looks so good. And now we're gonna clean this up because this is like a mess. My sheets are still in the dryer. I am just gonna clean the rest of my room. I also just brought this drink up and it's so good. I ate like a waffle and some strawberries. This is the green juice from Trader Joe's. And I just put it in this little bottle because I want a little bit more for later. So I'm just drinking like half of the bottle.
bottle and it's so good. I definitely recommend it if you like the greens, you know, like I forgot what's in it, but it's really healthy and good. I love it. This is what the desk is looking like right now. As you guys can see, everything's like kind of like cluttered over here. I don't really know what's going on here. I mean, it doesn't even look that bad. I feel like I'm exaggerating it a little bit. But I definitely need to organize like underneath over there. I'm thinking about buying an organizer so that I can put like most of my skincare stuff in there because I feel like a lot of those things fall when I hit the chair. So let me know what you guys think, like kind of like organizer that I can put underneath for all of like those products and these products so that it looks more clean. Anyways, I'm gonna start wiping down the desk. <sighs> So here's my closet as you guys can see like literally my desk is right in front of my closet Like I literally have this much space to go in I don't even know how I can get in my closet right now But I'm still trying to figure out where I should put my whole desk because I really do not have any space in my room And I really need a desk to do my makeup and like work and stuff that I want to do on the table but Other than that, this is what my closet is looking like right now It is a huge mess like I feel like it looks like a huge mess, but it's not that crazy I mean I could still walk in that's okay. This is pretty much all blank and then I have like a couple clothing just thrown on the floor. I need to put all these clothes away. I also need to put all of these on hangers because usually what I tend to do is when I take my hoodies off, I don't tend to put it on the hanger because I have like no motivation to put it on the hanger. So I just throw it on top of like the rack that I have on this little organizer for my closet. We're gonna put this all up on hangers. And this, I don't really know what's going on here. There's not much I can do here because I do use that and I have literally like no other other place to put that in so that's gonna stay there for now but i'm gonna try my best to make it look more put together closet now it looks so much better especially with the whole organizing with my hoodies and stuff looks a lot more put together i know it feels like really cluttered i don't know if it's just me or what but it just looks like a mess at the same time like i just don't like how like clean it looks but i promise you everything is like organized those are all those clothes that i'm going to be selling on depop so make sure to go follow my depop if you want to go for more clothing like there's new clothing here that i haven't worn and i'll be selling it all on depop so let me know if you guys would want me to sell this little heart thing it's like a glass decoration type of thing for like a table and it looks like this i've had it for so long and i kind of just want to sell it at this point i might donate it or sell it so let me know if you guys are interested in buying it then i'll sell it but if not i'll just donate it
currently back in my room and I'm gonna do my skincare to go to sleep. I do have laundry in the dryer and the washer, so I have to wait a little bit. So what I'll probably do is just like journal and plan, which is what I usually do, and wait until the stuff comes out of the dryer. My back hurts so badly right now, and I think it's from cleaning and going up and down the stairs just to drop things off. I am so bad at like bringing things downstairs. I will literally just throw it outside of my room and then just pray that somebody like picks it up or I eventually have the motivation to pick it up. Like I don't know why it's so difficult for me to just like pick up the stuff that I literally take out of my room. It'll be like boxes, plates, or like literal food and I just put it outside of my door and then I just wait until I have the motivation to take it out. That's how it works here. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished taking off the makeup on my face. I'm just gonna do like skincare stuff now real quickly. insane but i just kind of want to give you guys a rundown on like what i do whenever i have like my reset routine so usually what i do as for my computer is i usually plan out like the whole week before so if it's sunday i will literally plan out the whole week like monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday all the videos that i have to do all the schoolwork that i have to get done and then throughout the week i will like fix those things like kind of just specifically put down like what am i gonna do like am i gonna work out you know but that'll be like usually like on a monday morning but i for sure feel like I've learned a lot throughout like me using Notion. Like I obviously don't have everything planned out like most people do. Like most people have like a homepage and everything and I still don't know how to do it. What I do is I just plan out like my days. So I basically have everything checked down except for like a sit down video that I was supposed to film. I didn't really have time. I was gonna film it after this video but I really am exhausted and it's like 9 34 p.m. So I kind of just want to spend this time with myself. Like after I do my laundry and stuff I just want to rest because I filmed like two videos today. I think that's enough i don't want to burn myself out especially like all the videos i'm doing i don't want to take a break because of how tired i am so i definitely try my best to keep myself in touch with like self-care i just think it's so important like if you're not doing self-care then it's just like hard for you to love yourself and learn more about yourself and self-care can be in like so many different ways it could be like going out going in nature like doing things that you love i just love doing my skincare and just taking baths and just like doing meditation and like lighting up an incense, a candle, whatever that is. Anything to do with like off my phone is like self-care to me because anything off my phone just feels so nice. It just feels like less stressful. I'm not saying that like social media or like your phone is like stressful or whatever, but I just feel like you spend a lot of time on your phone. It gets in a very toxic way because there's a lot of things on social media that is bad and you kind of like suck up all that energy into you. So it's like taking a break from social media is good. And I'm not saying that like there's only bad stuff on social media. I'm saying like obviously there's good stuff on social media Media. there is so many things that motivate people like especially YouTube like my video right now is motivating probably somebody so that's kind of like what I'm trying to say just getting off your phone and spending time to yourself that is something that I like really realized today because I don't really go out and like spend time in nature this is like the first time in so long I've done it because it's like kind of like getting out of my comfort zone I'm not used to doing it you guys didn't see me going to the park and spending time in with nature because it was for a different video but I don't know when that video is going up but if you guys know you guys know everything and I feel so clean I feel like I just got so much done today and I just feel so good I don't know how to explain it like whenever I do my reset routine I just feel so good pretty much because I'm just taking care of myself and spending time with my own self instead of staying on the phone on on TikTok like scrolling endlessly endlessly and densely
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in my next vlogmas video. Make sure you subscribe to my main channel and my vlog channel, so both channels so that you guys can see all the videos that I post for vlogmas. And I hope this video helped you guys in some way and comment down below the flower emoji if you ended up all the way to this point. I love you. Bye guys.